Finally, around a hundred sperms manage to reach the egg. Yet the race is not yet over, because only one sperm will be allowed inside the egg. So another race begins. There is one particularly important obstacle confronting the sperms. This is a hard protective layer surrounding the egg, which kills off any unwanted microorganisms that may approach it. It is also extremely difficult to penetrate. In order to overcome this obstacle, special systems again are created in the sperm. Underneath the armor in the sperm's head, it houses secret weapons which it has so far concealed. These are tiny dissolving enzyme sacs. These little sacs make a hole in the protective layer by dissolving it, and the sperms can then enter this layer. While the sperm is moving ahead inside the layer, the armor at the end gets worn away, eventually falling apart. You are now looking at pictures taken by an electron microscope. The sperm has red-colored armor, this armor melts away, and the sperm enters the egg through its shell. Essential, because if the sperm did not do so, the tail, which is constantly in motion, would enter the egg cell and destroy it. In order for the sperm to be able to make this calculation, it has to know that it has come to the end of its journey, and therefore has no further need for its tail. But a sperm, is an unconscious biological machine which has no intelligence and is not able to perceive its surroundings. God who creates sperm created it together with a system that enables the tail to fall off at just the right moment. Through the hole it opens up. The process of the carrying of the genetic data in this way comes to an end. As a result of the harmonious functioning of hundreds of different and independent systems, genetic data regarding the man's body reaches the egg cell.